nice pad. Thanks. It was me granddad's. Oh, really? These were kind of a family heirloom as well, actually. Ah, OK. Sorry about that. I'd like to make sure I've got it all down. Yeah. So now you know a bit about Clemmie's background. You want to know what experience I've got in looking after vulnerable children? I know you've been trained and specialised. It's just that's very different from real-life experience. I don't want to offend. You haven't. I'd be asking exactly the same questions if I were you. Look, I know I didn't bring this up in the interview, but one of the reasons I've focused so much on training and dealing with vulnerable children is because my youngest brother had a lot of issues when we were growing up. Right. So, although my professional experience is limited, I spent years learning how to look after a troubled kid. Ready? Mm. So, this is Nick here I've been telling you about. <laughs> and you must be Lucas. Lucas, between me and you, do you ever get lost in this big old house? Yeah. That's good. And what about Clemmy? Because I think she must have. Should we go and find her? Yeah. Go on, you lead the way. Gabby, are those my shoes? Off. Now. Well, uh, so far, so good. Well, we'll see. Because if Clemmy doesn't want to be found, he won't find her. <laughs> 